Is there anybody who's been like a surprising fan over the years that you would like, whether it's an artist or somebody else, you're like, I didn't think you would. Yeah, a lot of people, a lot. It surprised you, but like Royce the Five Nine was like one because I remember playing video games, GTA, yeah. and hearing Royce on there and shit, and then seeing who he is. He another wordsmith, like serious about the bars and just everything broke down and a purpose. And yeah, what's the meaning of this and the meaning of that? So when they hit me to be on his album, I thought I was getting catfished. I'm like, man, get the <laughs> fuck off my phone. Royce don't want me on no f song. You know what I mean? And so that was like super dope. And it got nominated for a Grammy. That was dope. Incredible. Yeah. So who was it that hit you? It was like, it was a management, like, uh, Chase. Chase Infinite. He used to manage Rocky and shit. Yeah. He worked yeah. with Griselda. That's my guy. That's like the sensei for me. Yeah. He helped me a lot. And then yeah. when you actually end up in the studio, did you go down to uh, nah, Heaven? No, nah, they sent the song. Okay. And then I did it in the living room at the house. Did he have a con? Because I know that the whole album was conceptual. Was there like notes on like, you know, just rap just about something like Send me the like joint, do your thing. Wow. I'm like, you sure? Yeah. All right. Let me do my shit. Yeah. And then what was the feedback initially? I don't even think he ever said nothing. I just know it came out. <laughs> it's on the album. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's fire. That's I'm not sure if we ever even had a conversation, to be honest. I don't recall. That's hard. Yeah.